My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this tutorial, Applying Border Data and Other Save Options, Part 1, Other Save Options, we will cover the variables we skipped over in the editing and saving your first CINE and performing file conversion tutorials. All the features discussed in this tutorial are optional and are not critical to the saving or converting CINE process. However, they can be extremely useful in many applications. Before I start, I'm going to close all open panels. I'll need to select a CINE to demonstrate the features and options with. So I'm going to use the previously opened Hypo3 CINE and return to the Play tab. The first item to discuss is the Disseminate by Range option. The dissemination factor is an integer number greater than or equal to 1. It allows reducing the number of images that will be saved to a file by the specified factor. The default neutral value is 1, which means each image from the specified range will be saved to a file. A dissemination factor of 2 means that one and two consecutive images will be saved to the file. The other will be dropped. The display table shows which images will be selected to save to the file for various dissemination factors and for the input range from 0 to 18. The red numbers correspond to the frames which will be dropped. For example, if using the dissemination factor 3, the images that will be saved to the file will be images with numbers 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Since consecutive CINE images are always identified by consecutive image numbers, the same rule must be obeyed by the disseminate files. For non-neutral dissemination factors, some images will be dropped during the save file operation. Therefore, a new method of numbering the images must be employed. The basic rule is that numbering begins with input image 0, which corresponds to the output image 0. The first input image to the right of image 0 selected, considering the dissemination factor, will be assigned to image number 1. The second input image to the right of image 0 selected, considering the dissemination factor, will have the number 2. Similarly, the images before or to the left of image 0 selected, considering the dissemination factor, will be assigned negative 1, negative 2, and so on. This table illustrates how the destination file images will be numbered from 0 until it reaches the input saved range. I'm going to leave this at its neutral default value of 1. Let's move over to the save options we haven't talked about, including border data. The first of these save options is the 16-bit per pixel option. This feature instructs PCC to save the images from CINEs recorded with a bit depth greater than 8 bits with the bit depth they were recorded at. By default, this feature will be enabled or checked automatically when the bit depth option is set to greater than 8 bits. We will cover the bit depth feature in the Using Bit Depth video tutorial. Not all file formats support bit depths greater than 8 bits. Therefore, if I select one of these formats, this feature will be disabled. The split quarters and multi-head features were applicable for the legacy Phantom V6 series cameras only and are presently disabled. The XML header feature, when enabled or checked, is used to create an XML file, which can be a source of data for other applications describing the header along with the CINE image information. The PACT feature instructs PCC to save CINEs for many of the Phantom camera models, a Phantom CINE mag, Phantom CINE flash, or a 10 gigabit connected camera in a PACT raw CINE file format when enabled or checked. At the time of this video production, the WAVE audio file feature is only applicable with Phantom Flex 4K camera models. When enabled or checked, an audio wave file will be saved along with the raw PAC 10-bit CINE file by default 
or ProRes HQ10 bit Cine files, which require a Phantom CineMag 4 to record to. These fields are used to specify the percentage of lossy compression quality when saving a Cine in one of the following file formats Cine JPEG, H264, JPEG, LED, LED GIF, LED JTIFF, or JTIFF. The advanced options are only available when a file format other than a Cine RAW or a DING format is selected to save the Cine as. The advanced options allow us to select one of five color interpolation algorithms fastest, fast, medium, which is the default setting, good or best to apply to the Cine during the save process. Once a Cine has been saved in an uninterpolated format, no other interpolation algorithm can be applied to it by saving it again. In this case, the advanced algorithm option would be ignored. The playback rate is only available when the H.264 format is selected in the Save As Type field. It is used to specify the playback rate of the file being saved. When ProRes is selected in the Save As Type pull-down selection list, PCC allows us to select the Apple ProRes format to save the files as including Apple ProRes 422 HQ, Apple ProRes 422, Apple ProRes 422 LT, Apple ProRes 422 Proxy, and Apple ProRes 4444.